Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at the coins that I have on the screen right now. I purchased these at a small town a coin show from a dealer that had a bin of uh, five for a dollar. So let's jump in and get started. Our first coin today is going to come from Columbia with their new series of animals that appear on coins. This one is their 50 pesos coin and features a speckled bear. has a date of 2016 and a catalog number of KM295. This coin from 1916 is from Austria. It is a 10 Heller coin. And when I flip this one over, here is the back that you see on a lot of Austrian coins at the time, the two-headed eagle. There is a variation of this coin. This one has a shield in the middle. Some of the versions of this coin do not. This is KM 2825. From Spain, here is a 10 Pesetas coin from 1983. Oftentimes in this decade, it's a lot easier to find the uh, 25 than it is the 10, but all it has on the back is DAs for 10 Pesetas. And then the design that we see often on a lot of Spain coins. This one is KM. 827. Here is a British uh, pound coin. These are not particularly rare, but I do pick these up anytime I find them in a uh, five for a dollar bin just because of their exchange value, which last I looked was about worth a, uh, an American $1.20. But they do change them almost every year. This one is going to feature a Welsh leak. They had a series of several designs that they repeated over and over, but when you factor in the updated Queen's portrait, uh, there uh, really are several different versions of this coin. This one is KM941. The eagle with a shield with three stars on the shield is going to be from Syria. This one has a uh, our calendar date of 1965. This one's going to be a five piastres. Flip it over, and the uh, the circle at the top is how they, in Arabic, write the number five. This is KM94. Here's a coin from Norway featuring Harold V. We flip it over, and it is a, a ten kroner. From 1995, and this one has a uh, also the design of the back. It's going to feature a uh, church rooftop, and uh, just in foreign exchange value, this one is worth one dollar. That's what ten Norway kroner are going to be worth. A lot of the modern coins from Brazil uh, look similar to this one, as they have designs where they try to match the same size and weight of the uh, euro but i'm not used to seeing the ones that are not brass colored this one is a 50 centavos coin from 2014 and it has a catalog value or number of uh, km 651a here's a coin from the south american country of suriname we flip this one over and it has a value of one cent from 1966. This one is KM11A. This coin is from Pakistan and it features a symbol on this side. All of the uh, lines and squiggles that take up most of the middle of the coin are uh, representative that it used to be part of the Ottoman Empire. We flip this one over and it's going to have a value of a quarter rupee. It does have the crescent moon and star that we see on a lot of uh, Arabic coins. This one is KM5. Our next one from Pakistan is just a few later. We still see the, uh, the old Ottoman design as well as the crescent moon and star on the scalloped edge coin. We flip this one over and this one's going to be a 10 paisa from 1963. This one is KM21. Barely newer than that is this coin from 1964, similar elements to the last one. And this one is going to be 25 
PISA. CAM 22. Next, we're going to move to an area controlled by the British. And so here is our first coin today with Queen Elizabeth on it, featuring a design that you only see on not in British coins, but from the uh, territories that they ruled over. This one is from East Africa, where there were a collection of several African states, which all joined, or which were all, or at least now they're different uh, African countries, but at the time they were all under one currency. So this is a 50 cents or a half a shilling from 1962. So Britain didn't get off of the shillings and uh, the uh, pre-decimal system until later in the 60s. But here's an indication that they were starting to move off of it. And it looks like we have an interesting portrait of a mountain lion in the, uh, picture, in the middle of this coin. That last coin was KM36. And this one's going to be KM30, a little bit older. It features... George the sixth. Rex is Latin for king. But we have a very similar design on the other side going back to 1949. It's a little bit older, but a lot of the, lot of the other elements on this coin stay the same. It still says 50 cents and half a shilling. Still features the lion in front of a mountain. Here's a coin from Peru during a short-lived period of currency. This one is 20 centimos from 1986. Around the edge, it has the Central Bank of Reserve of Peru. But we flip it over, and all the coins of this short time featured Gran Almirante Miguel Grau. This one is KM294. This aluminum coin is from Socialist Czechoslovakia from 1965. It has a value of 10 Haleru. This aluminum coin is KM49.1. This uh, coin from Luxembourg is a little bit dirty, but it's an older coin that I don't see quite as often. It has a value of 5 francs. And this side is dirtier, but it has a date of 1962 on it. And uh, features Charlotte, the Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. This one is KM51. Sometimes I pick up a coin out of a five for a dollar bin that I just want to put uh, straight in my trade pile because I know it's something that you don't see as often. This is the design of a country that or an area that was ruled by France. For, and this has a date of 1964. There are several different countries that it could be with this design, but this particular one is from Reunion, which is a small island uh, out in the Pacific Ocean and has a value of one franc. This one is KM 6.1 and in this condition has a value of two dollars. From not too far away here's a coin from Papua New Guinea from 1966 and they feature a lot of uh, native animals in their area. This is a tin, I, I think it's pronounced Tintawea and the animal depicted here is a couscous. This one is KM4. This design is going to be a coin from Libya, uh, featuring the hat with the uh, tassels coming off the back. And this one is going to be one piastre from 1952 on our calendar. This one is KM4. I'm not sure how well this one shows up on camera, but it is a coin that has probably been in the mud at some point. Uh, at least no one has cleaned it. It is from Bolivia. And has a value, if you can read the middle of it, of uh, one Bolivano. So it has un Boliviano with the num larger number one in the middle and at the bottom has a date of 1951. This is coin KM184. This coin is about the size of a United States half dollar and uh, in 1901 Brazil made uh, different denominations of coins that had this uh, portrait on the front. Uh, we flip this one over and it is has a uh, denomination of 400 rays. 
and it has around the edge Republica dos Estados Unidos do Brazil. And it also has the year in Roman numerals. MCMI is 1901. This coin is KM505. This uh, coin from Bahrain, uh, made out of copper, has turned uh, quite dirty, but it has a, a value of 10 fields. This one is from 1965. And, of course, their coins usually do have their name written in English on them and has a palm tree on this side. It looks like this coin is from 1970, if you look in the bottom corner, but in Arabic, their six looks like a seven and their five looks like a zero. So this is 1965. KM, trying to read my notes here, that looks like KM 30. This is going to be a coin from Iraq. It has a value of 10 fills. You can see the one and the dot for the 10 in the middle. The date, again, that looks like it'd be 1909, but it really is 1959. Some versions of this coin has a series of three palm trees on the back, but this one just has a, uh, uh, I guess that's a sun with uh, rays coming out of it. Kind of looks like bacon, but it's not. And in the middle has a stalk of wheat around a, uh, surrounded by a gear and a couple of swords. So this is KM121. We have another coin that of an area that was controlled by France. If this one was in better condition, it might have a pretty good value to it. This one is from 1939. It's going to be French Indochina, which is uh, today going to be places like uh, Vietnam and other countries in that area. This is going to be uh, KM 23A.1. It is made of copper nickel, and it is a reeded variation. It wasn't long until they switched to aluminum to save money. This is just a few short years later, 1945, so six years after the last coin. Flip this one over, and it does have a similar design as the last one, and in this case, it's not as well worn. Still says uh, French Indochina, 20 centimes on it. And uh, this one has a... Um, Catalog number of KM29.1. For another place that was controlled by Britain, this one features George V, King and Emperor. But the uh, portrait is well worn on this one. The uh, scalp design is going to be from India, 1936, a uh, value of 1 Anna. This one is KM513. When you first see this coin, you might think it could be a three pence from Britain, but it is another one from a uh, country ruled by Britain. It does have the portrait uh, with the crown that is only uh, used for territories that are ruled by Britain. And it says Queen Elizabeth II around the edge here. If it was the British version of the three pence coin, it would have a uh, uh, several more characters in Latin. This coin is also thinner than a British three pence. This one is from Nigeria from 1959. I think it's um, interesting that it has a Star of David on it. This one is KM3. Another coin from Norway. This one is the Five Kroner from 1998. It has a design that's similar to the one and the two, just a little bit larger than those, but all of those also have the hole in the middle. So we flip it over. It has, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, they're now spelling Norway as, uh, looks like I would call that Noreg. But this one uh, is KM463. This five dinara coin from 1963 is going to be from uh, Yugoslavia. This one is made out of aluminum and has the uh, design that we see on a lot of their coins of the time. KM1953 and, uh, no, that's the year. It's KM32, and I find the one of this series very often 
Uh, I've even bought a, a pile of coins directly from Yugoslavia, but I've never found the, this five dinar before. So I was surprised to add this one to my collection. This coin from Brazil started at the, about the early stages of their hyperinflation in the 60s. Unfortunately, this aluminum coin does have a lot of corrosion in one big spot there at the top, but I think it's neat. Uh, there are several coins in the series that have a, uh, a topographical map of the country of Brazil on it. So you can see the, uh, the rivers and the, where the mountains are uh, throughout the country. So I think that is a neat design. This coin is the 20 Cruzeiros from 1965. KM 573. Costa Rica kept a similar design in a lot of their coins for a long time. This one is from 1937 and doesn't look too much different than almost anything else you'll find from there, especially with the, uh, the entire design of the crest there in the middle of this coin. We flip this one over and um, this one is 25 centimos. KM 175. Here's another design of an area that was uh, ruled by France. This one is newer than all the others that we've seen today. This one is from 1971. It's another aluminum coin. And in this one, it or the previous ones had a close-up of the face of this lady. But this one has uh, the entire uh, seated version of uh, this lady. And uh, she's holding a torch, and she's sitting on a throne that has looks like the faces of tigers as the armrest, and then something that almost reminds me of the Ten Commandments uh, tablets in the background. Looks like she's holding a cornucopia of flowers in her other arm. Uh, we flip this one over, and this one is from New Caledonia, so it's another uh, island area in the uh, in not too far from Australia. This is a two francs, and I like the bird design on this one. We have uh, KM9. Here's a coin from Israel. Uh, it came as part of a set of commemorative coins that Israel was making uh, mostly in the late 80s, although this one is from 1990. And it's a five new shekelim. And I think this is the first time that I've ever found one of these coins in a 25 cent bin. I had some others from this set that were purchased just by themselves off of eBay. But what's interesting about this one is, as you can see, it's a series of vertical lines that um, wherever there is no line, it uh, creates a face. And the person that is highlighted here is, if I'm looking at this right, Levi Eshkol, KM208. I actually see this coin from Denmark all the time for 25 ore. I just forgot that when I uh, found it in uh, the bin. Uh, at least I don't see it as often as the 1 and the 5 and the 10. So at least uh, there's that. Uh, let's see, 1964 with the R, the ninth monogram. And a lot of Denmark coins have a uh, Mint Master uh, mark with a heart on it. So uh, you've got a C heart and an S on here. This one is KM850. This coin is copper nickel. Actually, I think when I picked it up, I wondered if it was a zinc that was preserved well enough that it hadn't corroded yet, and I was wrong. It is copper nickel. A while ago, I found one of these on uh, eBay and uh, on a lot that I did not purchase, but I looked at it and I thought to myself, do I have this coin from El Salvador from 1991? And I guess a lot of coins from El Salvador look like this, but when I flipped it over and I just saw one cologne, I was wondering, thinking, I, I didn't recognize this coin, yet I didn't actually look it up. I just passed on it and kept going. And so very soon after that, I found it at the coin show and um, I bought it. And as it turns out, I did have it, but it is KM156. The last coin in this video is going to be from Brazil. And it's also going to be the oldest coin in this video. It has a date of 1898. Uh, it is very well worn on this side. Uh, as you can see, there's almost no detail to whatever was in the middle. But around the middle circle, you have the uh, another circle of stars with horizontal lines running through. And uh, there is one big pit <laughs> that's on this side. 
but they're even bigger on the other side. So this is a 200 Reese coin, and I see a date across the bottom of November of 1889. That's not the year that this coin was made. And that looks like the word progress on the top here, but those are a couple of really big pits on the very top here. But since this coin is so old, even in this condition, there's a book value of $1.50 on this one. And catalog number KM493. I am way behind making videos. Uh, this coin lot was actually purchased in October, and I uh, didn't get around to recording the video on it till January of 2023. Uh, by my count, I've got a lot of more, uh, a lot more vi coin videos of other things I've bought at coin shows and stores that uh, I have uh, that I need to record. In the meantime, I'm probably going to go to a couple more shows before I have a chance to even record all those. So I've got a lot of content coming out, especially with coins like this where I get stuff out of the four for a dollar bin. All right, I'm going to link to the uh, C Mid 10 Foreign Coin Showcase here at the end, and thanks for watching. Bye.